What a beautiful day. I should go for a walk. Fresh air, cool autumn breeze. Who could ask for more? Hmm, that's an awfully large bird's nest. Must be a pretty big bird. There's just so many of these big bird's nests in the tree. What could possibly live there? Oh my, look at that red jacket. What? Who said that? Show yourself. Yes, I'm right above you. Have a little look. Up, up, up. Oh, hello there, squirrel. How are you today? I'm wonderful. Thank you for asking, kind sir. You may call me Old James. And who are you? Oh, well, I'm Mr. Sad. It's nice to meet you, Old James. Yes, nice to meet you, too. So tell me, Old James, what are you doing in a bird's nest? What do you mean? I live here. Oh, you're kidding me. Get out. Yes, for real. No, you get out. That's your home? Amazing. Hmm, yes, indeed. My school's nest is called a dray. They're usually built on the outside of trees, about 30 feet off the ground, where the branches come together. Really? Tell me more. My nest is made of a ball of loosely woven twigs, leaves, and grasses. Very stylish, very chic. And here I thought squirrels lived in an old log this whole time. Well, some of us do live in hollowed out old logs. Those squirrels' nests are called dens. They're in old trees or underground. A perfect winter getaway for any squirrel. Is that so? Yes. Now then, if you'll excuse me, Mr. Sad, I must go collect food and hide it in many different places so that I have it for the winter. Good day to you, kind sir. Well, it sure is nice to meet you, old James. Keep it fresh and keep it real, my friend. Hey, thanks for watching. See what you like and like what you see. Hit subscribe to see more of me.